This is a half meter long cable carrier. Cable carrier is used to route cables through to um, linear components that move something like this, so you don't bunch up the cables and you don't um, put stress on the cables. So it's a lot easier to show you what this does than explain it. So let's go look at a couple machines that have some cable carriers on them. So you can see our cable track that we're selling right here, and inside the machine you can see a bigger cable track on the top head of the machine there. So you can see that you've got the bottom affixed there, and then the top on the moving head, and you can see all the wires there moving through it. So these are really great for any kind of moving surface that you need to run a lot of wires through. The particular cable carrier that we have this week has an outer dimension of 14 millimeters tall by 20 millimeters wide, and the internal dimensions are 10 by 15 millimeters. Each one of these cable carriers has an overall length of about half a meter, and it's divided into all these different sections, and you have these nice little um, end points at each one that you can use to attach. They have three uh, mounting holes that you can use to attach to your machinery, and each one can actually be bent at an angle for different mounting options. Now, you can fit a lot of different cables inside of this, um, mostly smaller type cables. These are made for smaller machines like a 3D printer or a small CNC machine. And they have a couple of cables just to give you an idea of um, how some cables might route through this. This is a standard like three and a half millimeter audio jack. And you can see it fits through pretty good. And I also have, oh, you want that? A USB cable here. This is a uh, micro B and you can see it also fits through pretty easily. Um, however, the actual A end of the cable does not fit through. When sizing the cable carry, you want to pay attention to this inner radius. The inner radius is the minimum amount that this can bend. Obviously, you could you know, do something like that or do something like that, but this is the minimum distance that it can bend. On this particular cable carry, this distance is 40 millimeters or radius, half of that distance of 20 millimeters. For the outside dimension, it is actually 68 millimeters. So that means from the bottom of this to the top of this, that's going to be 68 millimeters is the minimum you can compress this. The other nice thing about this cable carrier is if you need longer distances, you can just snap these apart just like you would a chain and either add more or take them out. And um, I'm just using a really small screwdriver just to kind of pry in between these, and boop, there you go, snaps out. And so you can adjust this to whatever size you need, and then they just snap back in place like that. Cable carriers are extremely useful when you have two moving surfaces and you need to route wires in between them because you can just route the wires in between it and you have a nice safe place for the wires to hide and your wires aren't gonna get messed up by something.